What's up guys? I'm Marcus Jose from Vocal.com. Today we have Zena, the American Bully, and we're putting her through boot camp. Now, when I get a dog and I want to figure that dog out, we don't do any training at all for the first two or three days. And everything we do up to that point, or up to this point, has been nothing but behavioral. So when Zena first got to my house, she was very um, alert at all times. Actually, whatever. Okay. So, anyways, the last couple days I've experienced a couple things with the dog and figuring out her, her out, what her mannerisms are. Um, some of the things that I've been noticing is one, when you go to grab her to put, to put her inside or put a leash on her, she likes to run. And I think that comes from probably the owner, um, the owner not doing it correctly the first time around. And now she thinks it's the game when you want to call her. When you go to get her, she, she thinks it's the game and you have to chase her around. Now, unlike her parents, I don't chase and I'm not going to be chasing. So if I had to let her out at six, you know, two or three in the morning, five, five in the morning, and it's cold outside, and I have, and I walk to the door after she's been out for five, ten minutes, and I call her over, and she looks at me and stares at me, and, I, and she doesn't come. I close the door right up. We wait another ten minutes, and I see her in cold outside. I walk back out, open the door. I say, "You ready to come in?" And then she walks closer. I know she's ready to come in. So. One of, the, one of the symptoms is her being just overly thinking when you call her name, it's time to chase and play cat and mouse, right? Part of her problem is playing cat and mouse. Thinking that when you call her name, it's time to play and not come. So what we're gonna be working on today is how to get your dog to understand to come to you when you call her, okay? Now, the great thing about this dog is she's very food driven. So, I give her one food and she's ready to go. But the thing is also, she doesn't listen when you don't have food. So we won't be giving her any food today. We will let her sniff it once, but we're gonna put it away till the very end. So, start of the session, end of the session, she gets it. You ready? Good girl, come. Wait. Okay, so this is this is the easy part. The easy part is to get her to wait and listen when we first start. The hard part is wait. Oops, sorry, baby. Come, come, come. Sit. Wait. The hard part is to get her to come without having food. Yeah, come, come. Good girl, wait. Good girl. Nope, you don't get no food. Come on. Now. It's funny thing, the funny thing is about this dog is that she's very responsive. But as soon as you take the leash off, she's not. She still thinks it's a game. Wait. 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 commands. The first is wait. I use it a lot. Wait means I want you to stay where you're at right now until I call you over. When you say, when you utilize the word stay, stay is utilized as in you stay right here until I come back and release you from this point. Two different things and you got to use them exactly how they're supposed to be used. So if I say stay, you know, Oh, 
Okay, good girl. Go. <gasps> oh, you're want to show hand gestures, okay? Shh. Sit, okay? And the reason for that is you want to try to stimulate the senses visually and hearing at the same time, okay? So when I say, when I say come, come. Good girl, wait. Sit. Sit. Good girl, wait. When I say come, you have to be making sure your you have to make sure your dog is watching when you say this. Shh. No. Back, 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 back. Sit. Wait. Dina. Shh. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now, she knows I have food in my hand. But what she doesn't know is she's not going to get the food until the very end of the session, okay? This stops her from thinking that she can do what I want right now and doesn't have to do it at any other time when I don't have food. So eventually, you want to move from utilizing food to train her and any dog to just utilizing consistency with training, okay? Now we're going to start to increase the distance here. The reason I have this lead on is because it's the longest one I have. Come, come. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. So we're going to start to increase the distance here a little bit. Okay. Wait. Sit. Good girl. Wait. Every time I bend over to pet her or to give her the, the reward for coming, she opens her mouth like I'm going to give her a treat. This is the reason why we're breaking that right now. Because maybe her parents didn't utilize the treats correctly and gave it to her at any time or every single time she did something right. But she knows, she's a smart girl, she knows when you smell treats, you got to do what they're asked. But when the treats are gone, you don't have to. And that's what we're trying to break her up. Let's try it again. Come. Sit. Wait. Tina. Sit. Sit. Wait. Nope. Sit. Sit. Wait. Good girl, sit. Wait, wait. Tina, come. Good job. Good job. Do it again. Come on. Come on. Sit. Wait. Sit. Wait. Good job. Okay, so I just noticed that 
every time we, I go down the pet her, and I, if I pet her big near her head, she likes to open her mouth like she's gonna get a treat. So from now on, when we go to give her the reward of affection, we're gonna pet her on her butt. So we're gonna do this to make sure we, she knows she's not gonna get the reward, thus not, not letting, shh, down, down, not letting her open her mouth. So let's see if we can inc increase the distance. Come on. Okay, so, shh, shh, come, come, come on. Come, good girl, okay. So we're gonna increase the distance now. One of her biggest problems, shh, up, up. One of her biggest problems is that she does not come when called. So we're gonna couple a sound with an action to see if she can, well, she'll keep responding, okay? We're gonna leave her here. Come, shh, sit, wait. Wait. Good girl, wait. Good girl, wait. Shh. Now, I'm backing up like this because I don't, shh. no. Now, if she, if she moves, because this isn't perfect, you want to reset her to the same position she was at. Up, up, sit, wait. The reason for that is she has to know that she's not going to go anywhere, make any progress at all if she doesn't do what I say. Off the ground. Down. Sit. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Shh. Wait. Wait. Tina, come. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. All right, so that's it for the day. It doesn't take too much. I would say about 15 minutes a day training, actual obedience training. But all day has to be training for, obedience, for actual behavior, okay? Um, I'm going to show you guys the proper way to end the session. So she knows that every time we end the session, she's gonna get the treat. Good girl, wait. Hey, sit, sit, sit. Good girl, wait. Shh. Sit, wait. Now, the reason we end the session is she knows that once we're done, she can go and play. But this actually lets her her anxieties down because we're gonna give her the treat and it's over. Okay, ready? Done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. So uh, that's it for the day, guys. Um, it's real easy. Difference between sit or excuse me, the difference between stay and wait. We didn't work on stay today because she's not there yet to not to stay, but definitely to wait. Um, I wanted to really work on come because it'll make my life a lot easier about 2 a.m when she wants to play uh, cat and mouse. So that's what I wanted to work on today. That's all, that's a, you know, pretty much all the tips. Make sure you guys follow me right here. Check out my blog and check out the uh, podcast. This is Marcus Jose, the Buco.com smoking barrel bullies. You guys have a good day.